Hello guys, welcome to Pi Power Projects and today we'll learn about a wonderful applications of Python that is making your video in slow motion or in a time lapse using Python. So give input your video and make the slow motion or time lapse of your video using Python. That is our aim of today's project. So let's see how to do it using Python. Let's start it. So for doing this, you have to import some of the libraries and these are the listed libraries that you have to be sure that they are installed and you have to import it. So uh, be sure that they are first installed on your PC and then you have to import for using. These are the variables, uh, the content and the name that will use uh, in further. Okay, so uh, before explaining the complete code let's see the output first so that we can easily know uh, the clear understanding of the code so first see the output and the special thing of the output is uh, we have made a wonderful gui software for this so this is our gui of slow motion and time lapse using python and as I have told that you have to just select your video that which video you have to convert to slow motion or time lapse and rename it here and it will be converted. So first is the output. Now I have one video and I have to rename it as fast and convert time lapse of video. I have one video input.mp4 and press enter. The dialog box says your conversion is done. Your time lapse video fast dot evi is saved successfully okay now i have to go to that particular folder where i have saved my code and let's run it so see this is my video and it is completely timeless let's play again this video here it is timeless of the original video you can see it a wonderful video is there and a super timeless is uh, shown here this is my original video so first have a look at it so that we can uh, easily understand the time lapse and slow motion of it so this is my original video and now i will convert it to slow motion this is slow you can see here that a uh, new video will be created when i will convert to slow motion so this is my input to np4 and here it is my slow motion video is saved successfully and you can see it is there let's play it yes it is really slow motion uh nearly five to six times slow than previous original video you can see that this is slow motion of our video and the previous video was really the time lapse of our video here it is so this way it works i hope you understand the working of the code the output of the code and the gui section now what is the actual code running behind this so here it is this is the function def convert slow which is used for converting the slow motion of our video this is uh, this particular line ask uh, i mean open a video open a dialog box which choose or let you choose the video file and the file name is stored here now if if there is error in reading the video file then this is the error else it will select or it will uh, you know that uh, set the frame height and width the original height and width is taken from the video and uh, we will get the uh, output video of original height and width i mean original resolution so this is used and this is the result, the result object of cv2.videowriter. So it is uh, the open CV library of Python. So open CV library of Python is used for converting this. And uh, many of you have know the concept of frames per second is FPS. So FPS means how many frames per second we are going to write. So in this particular uh, function video writer, as this is a slow motion conversion video, 
so we will write only 5 frames per second so if i write only 5 frames per second the original or the you can say the default value is nearly 30 or 60 frames per second so if i write 5 frames per second then it will render in a very slow motion and if i write here let's say 500 then it will render very fast so 500 frames will be on in only one second so this is the main function of open cv library video writer and the third argument of uh, the function is how many frames per second you want to render and it will render accordingly and this is the other uh, saving functionality and etc so this is our uh, uh, show info dialog box that your task is completed your video is saved and whatever you have to write here you can write here and whenever i will press the escape key and uh, uh, the frame it will be closed so uh, here is the saving file and all that so this is the code for converting into the slow motion video and similarly the code is for converting to fast i mean the time lapse video so else everything is same the uh, file opener dialog box and uh, the height and width of the video everything is same the only change in this code is of video writer function is this so now my video writer function will render 230 frames per second so if we assume that it is 60 frames per second then now it will be nearly four times of the original video so uh, you can say that uh, 230 frames of video will render in only one second and uh, it is uh, definite that now video will be little faster uh, nearly four times faster so this is the time lapse of video you can change this 230 or the above uh, 5 as per your requirement uh, as you want to uh, make it slow or fast you can change this value and it will affect directly to your output video and these are other uh, formal uh, functionalities that is uh, showing the task and saving video etc so this way uh, it works the convert fast and convert to slow that is slow motion and time lapse of a video and this is the complete gui section so i hope uh, this gui section is not that much important and many of you know uh, the gui section though i will uh, explain a little bit so uh, this is our uh, main window of our gui and i have made a title video manipulation project by pi power this is our title and these are the labels so what is label whenever i want to write any kind of text in our gui then we are use uh, then we are going to use label you can see that uh, this is a text this is also text uh, other are also text uh, so that all text will be included in label and uh, now whenever i want to take some entry from the user then i will use this entry function or entry functionality of uh, tk library and it will take the user input and save it in the variable called name and whenever i want to get the access of whatever stored in the same variable i have to use name.get and when i will use the name.get it will return the text that is saved or written in this uh, dialog box entry entry field entry field and these are the buttons so whenever i will click on a button a particular function is going to call and that function will uh, do something task so here uh, whenever i will click this button these all are uh, the uh, ui functionality i mean uh, the color and padding etc background foreground etc but the main is command so whenever i will click this button the convert flow function will be called and similarly this is the second button uh, convert time lapse and whenever i will click this button it will call the function convert fast so this way it works uh, this is simple gui uh, there are only two buttons and other uh, uh, three four labels so uh, by this simple code and along with gui you can easily select your input file input video rename it and automatically convert it into slow motion or into the timeless using python i hope you enjoy the video
and learned a lot from this video thank you for watching this video and have a nice day happy learning